hi everyone welcome back in today's video i will share with you how to run open plc runtime on your raspberry pi which will aid you to use your raspberry pi as a full-blown plc let's get started kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell this way you always be notified whenever i upload new videos okay so what we will need we will need a raspberry pi and you need to run raspbian on it and you need to be able to access this raspberry pi you can either use a screen or in my case i'll use vnc okay so i click on the vnc and then double click on the raspberry pi interface okay i go to the command prompt and this time you need to run the updates and then upgrade of your raspberry pi if you've not done that already i've already done that so i'm not going to repeat this step now we need to download and install wiring pi and the purpose is for us to be able to control the GPIO pins of our Raspberry Pi. To do this, we minimize it and then we go to Google and then search for Wiring Pi GitHub. Select the Wiring Pi GitHub and then the first item, select it. And now the most important move to the release and then click on the release. When you scroll down, you have two files one is 64 bit and then one is 32 i'm using raspberry b plus so i'll use the 32 bit type okay file is already downloaded i now need to transfer this file to the raspberry pi i use the vnc transfer function i click on send file and navigate to where the file is located click on open and then I have the file on my Raspberry Pi desktop. Okay, and I'll reposition this file into the Raspberry Pi document file folder. Okay, I copy the path because I need to navigate to this particular point in the command prompt. Okay, so I say change directory, and now I'm in within the file position a list and then copy the description of the file okay so i do sudo and then paste the file name and then begin to install now we see that the installation is successful now we need to clone and then install the runtime so I change the directory back to root and then use this command. To start cloning the file, the installation file. Okay. Okay, we can see that it's done. I change the directory, which is change directory. And then I'm in now. And I'll list the items there. And then we can see the installation file there. This very one. Install.sh. I copy it. And then use dot. And this is the items in it. I need to run that for the Raspberry Pi, which is rpy. I use the same command. And then rpy. Now the installation has started. You need to be patient because it takes about 30 minutes okay so after the installation you have this message indicating that the installation was successful i now need to restart the pi okay so after restarting we need to now to check whether the runtime is running so we use this command and then this is the message that you receive. We can see that the runtime is active 
and then it's running on a local host of this particular address to run it on an external device like your window machine you have to go to your browser and then use the raspberry pi ip address port 8080 and then you have the interface the username is open plc password open plc i click on login and now we have a lovely dashboard when you come to program this is where you load your logic into the raspberry pi plc we have the slave devices where you expand your ios we have the monitor where you can monitor your the progress of your code and then we have the hardware and here by default is blink linux you need to select raspberry other than that you will not be able to control the gpio of your raspberry pi you click on save okay so before we write our logic this is a setup to test the logic that we'll be writing so we have an indicator that's an led indicator connected to our raspberry pi now this is the gpio pins or the pin map within the open plc we can see that we have the data input this is the set of pins and then the address and then we have the data output this is the set of pins and then the address in the open plc software we'll be connecting our device to pin 8 which is mapped to address 0.0, .0. okay this is the setup of the raspberry pi the negative which is pin 6 connected to the led and then pin 8 which is the output connected through this resistor to the led okay so we start our open plc editor which is running on our windows not on the raspberry now we move and then open an existing program this is the program we use for our water level control and basically this is how it works so we have a set reset which will be set whenever our level is greater than 8 or equal to 8 and reset whenever our level is less than or equal to 2 and then we have a relay at the output at the top we have all the variables which we have three relays and then some memory locations and then holding registers for now we'll be using only led to demonstrate this okay so we click on this sign which indicates that we are compiling a file to be transferred to the runtime of the raspberry so i give it a name pi test and i click on save this is now saved at a location now i need to transfer it to our runtime i go into the runtime interface go to program and now navigate to where this file is located click on open and i can upload it give it a name which is pi test for now and then i click on upload we can see that it's compiling successfully compilation done okay so we can see that the compilation is done and this is how the interface looks like we go to monitoring and then we can see all our variables displayed nicely here we can monitor them right from this interface okay so we've already clicked on the start plc the plc is already running okay so now to test it because we've not done a setup for the raspberry we'll be using modbus to activate all the necessary inputs to test our code so I move on and then look for the Modbus master tester and I go to connections and then I'm connecting via the Modbus TCP and this is the IP address of my Pi and then this is the port 502 I click on OK and then click on new and then click on connect we can see that the connection is successful there's no errors okay so i have placed them side by side this is the tester and then this is the interface of our raspberry pi running the runtime okay so i double click on this bit and then turn it on you can see that it has turned on and now the next thing we need to do 
is to now set the water level higher so that the output will come on so i go to the holding register and then set this holding register higher than 10 which is 15 and then we can see that the led is on and then on the interface too we can see it's showing through working perfectly and now move to the call and then we can see that it's on also in the mod bus master okay i switch back to the holding register and then change this value to two and then we can see that the led is off indicating that the pump is off working perfectly and now send it to five we can see nothing happened because it's less than eight and then send it to nine and then it comes back on again working perfectly and now move on and try and change the value at the hr one holding register and we can see that it's showing 23 super viewers thank you for watching we've been able to turn our raspberry pi into a full-blown plc please consider giving this video a thumbs up anytime you hit the like button you help grow this channel see you in the next tutorial bye bye